So we're about to meet up with one of my students that has turned $1,500 all the way up to, I think it was $120,000. So if you guys have seen the other video, I just dropped out Freaky, which is my first boot camp from the 30 day, which obviously I'm wearing the same clothes. But now we're gonna be picking up the student that has had the craziest success story because how he actually got the 1,500 bucks, it started with $20. So we're gonna pick him up right now. We're gonna take him to my house. We're gonna go out in the Can-Am, ask him some questions and set it up for the interview and the podcast that we're gonna do tonight in my house with both of them together. So this is Mike. Mike came all the way from Canada. So he's never been to Miami. He's never pretty much seen the lifestyle out here. So I'm gonna try and obviously exceed his expectations because his story, you guys are gonna trip out. So this is Mike all the way from Canada. He took 1,500 bucks to $100,000. The man, the the man. Bro, what's up? What's going on, bro? The man. How are you, bro? Fucking wild, man. How are you, bro? Yeah, yeah good, man. Good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, dude. Long flight or no? Uh, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. About seven hours total. But what, weather's better, though. Yeah, absolutely, man. Not minus 40. Like, not back in Alberta. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Come on over here. How are you, bro? You're good? Yeah, dude. Absolutely. You're excited for today or what? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. So, I came in the forest because I just dropped off Ricky. You know, are you like an adrenaline like group? You like adrenaline? Like, sure, yeah, yeah. You like it? Yeah. All right, cool. So today we're gonna do a little bit of stuff. Obviously, we got the podcast later. So they already know your story. They know you turned fifteen hundred bucks. So what was it exactly? One hundred twenty. One twenty. How long? Month. One month. Yes, sir. Fuck. And then kind of Ricky told me a little bit what you did with the money, which is super cool. But we're gonna save that for the podcast. Absolutely. So we're gonna now, you know, go for a little ride, go home, get in the can -Am, and then just see where the day takes us. We got the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> you ready, brother? Yeah. Bro, I'm excited to hear your story, bro, because from dude. what you sent me in the audios, dude, I was so I didn't even I didn't even know what to say. Because when, you know, obviously turning a thousand dollars into a hundred K is crazy. Yeah. But when you told me that like, hey bro, like you're not ready to hear on how I got the thousand dollars. That's where I'm like, oh, this story, this story yeah, is for real. 20 bucks in a VLT. That's, that's Dude, nuts, hey, it's crazy because when I first bought your course, I told three friends, I said, by Christmas, this shit's gonna change my life. And when, when did you buy it? August 18th. Oh, shit. So like, I, dude, and I never traded before in my life. Like, I never did another course. So I was your first one? Yeah, dude, I literally knew nothing. No way. I had one buddy that would like bring up trading once in a while and he'd be like, yeah, like I gotta get back to this. I gotta get back to, you know, figuring this out. Like this is, this is freedom. And, and I was like, I used to like shrug it off because at the time, dude, I was like, so wait, you're 23? Yeah. So I was your age, cause I'm 28. Okay. And I was engaged, had a house. At 20, at 23? Yeah. Wow. And, found out she was cheating on me. She was cheating on you? Yeah. Oh shit. That all blows apart. And I decided to go like full in on like chasing the MMA dream. Okay. Because that was something as a kid growing up doing martial arts, I was like always big into UFC, always, you know, and that was something I wanted to do. And I never did it when I was younger, but I like, I competed, owned and ran my own karate and kickboxing school. Okay. Like I was teaching adults karate when I was like 11 years old. Oh. And I went and represented in Canada at like the World Karate Championships and shit like that. In like, Canada? In like, I went to Spain, Vegas. Oh, so, so you can go fuck somebody up. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go fuck yeah, somebody up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, no cap. Like, I'm not gonna fucking. <laughs> okay, that's, <laughs> but, good, that's good to know. That's good to know. <laughs> but, like, so I, like, went full in on that and I was just like, you know what? I don't see the return on investment. I just don't see it. I'm like, I'm working a full-time job. I'm training like two to three times a day. Every, every day? Yeah. While working a manual labor job. And I'm like, I don't see the return on investment in this. So, and that's like right shortly around the time I was like super like lost and confused in direction in life. Like I uh, was like, me and my buddy were, it was funny because I watched your podcast with uh, Money Buys Happiness guys. Oh, okay. Because they're, they're Canadian. Yes. Okay. And I was talking and I said, you 
mentioned about like Amazon FBA and like yeah. things like that. And I was like, me and my buddy looked into that. We were like, and I was like, dude, this is so polluted. Yeah. Like now it's so, everybody's doing it, yeah. right? Like to find a product that you're going to be able to sell and you know, and then he was, he's like, I think trading's a ticket. He's like, I really think trading's a ticket out. And I was like, all right. So I like started playing around with like, I had read somewhere that you could write code on TradingView to, you know, basically like a bot, really, yeah. right? And then I was like, I played around with that for a little bit, and I was like, you know what? What if I just fucking learn this skill? Like, what if I just learn the skill? And I went on YouTube, and like one of the first videos that pulls up is... 17 year old from Dunkin Donuts <laughs> is gonna turn a hundred dollars into a million and I'm like yo I'm like okay I'm like first of all at first I'm like there's no fucking way and then second of all I'm like I gotta see this shit right so and that's right around the time when like you started that challenge and that's right around the time when I like I was watching your YouTube videos and a lot of that stuff and then I was like I had some success before the course, which is crazy, right? But then I was like, there's something I'm missing. There is something in that course. And I was like, I saw like you'd post like a couple Sunday swings. I'm like, I gotta get in on this. Yeah. And I was like, I remember sitting there because my buddy had bought somebody's course before and it was just Trash. dumb shit. Trash. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like a big name. And I was like, it's dog shit. <laughs> and my buddy's left. And I remember sitting there and I was like, I hope this is like, and I was just like, fuck it. And I was just like, yep. <laughs> and like, and now we're here. Yeah, man. And now, like, I remember just telling people, and like, my buddy was like, dude, it just seems like you get it. Like, he's like, it just seems like you get it. You're talking about shit that's like, I've been looking at charts for two years, and he's like, I don't even understand it. Really? He's like, you just get it. He's like, I don't know what it is. He's like, you just. Right. I'm a big believer in that if you connect with the charts, it's just going to work, right? And if you are meant, not meant for it, because not everything's not meant for everything, but if you actually put in the time and you understand the craft, you can actually almost read it right off the bat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, just, it just simply makes sense, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, you look at it, like, well, that just makes sense to go up where it makes sense to go down. Yeah. And it's kind of crazy that you can say that because other successful viewers that I've met say the same thing. They're like, well, it just clicked, so it just made sense with me. Same way how other people, let's say, uh, building a business makes sense to them because that's easier, they like teach or whatever. This just simply makes sense to other people, which is yeah. perfectly fine. For me, knowing that you six months ago, you found out who I was, and now like we're here in person, that's like the craziest thing to me ever. Bro. It blows my mind because everything I've read online, like every Instagram reel, every everything is like one to two years. Yeah. Like one to two years. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I still have my like pitfalls like of course like january was like i came into january i gotta work on a little bit more of this because like i came in january and i was like watch this right you kind of now it's like i just come off that month yeah and i'm coming off that high right so i was like watch this and then i remember like one morning i woke up and i like rolled over and my trade hit stop loss and i was like damn Shit. i was like well they just went 15 grand 50 grand? 15. I don't 15? Know. That was like, shit, whatever. Threw it back and then like made 16 later on. Okay, all right, and the next okay, week, right? So, so it's like it comes around, but like it was like my. It was like a, was like a humbling moment. Almost. Yeah, and there was like just parts that kind of like put me in check where I was like, whoa. Like I was getting impatient. I thought that I could just jump oh, in yeah. and it was just, and the market's like, whoa, 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 hold on. <laughs> I'm still the boss. Yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah it's uh, humbling, you know? Yeah, yeah. So welcome to the, to my house. It's my cat over there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we got into a fight earlier, me and the cat. Uh -oh. <laughs> you could take care of that for me, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let us go to my office, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so you see it's, me through it's this. It's crazy, because like, what we see like little like tidbits of like, you know, like, okay, we see like, the, the astronauts and the, you know, stuff like that. But like, now it's like, shit, this, Being here this is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I, you know, what I, what I usually do with you guys is I was telling Ricky, usually what I do is I'll separate the, the, the chart. 
So whenever I do the Sunday swings with you guys, I'll pretty much have the chart like this. And then I'll have you guys over here in the Zoom along with the chat right here. Okay. Yeah. But bro, look at this. Look, 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 look. Also show them, come here, like, look at this. So you guys probably wonder why don't I reply to the Discord <laughs> messages? Well, yeah, sure. Let me just give you guys a little small rundown of all of the mess. Plus look, plus a thousand direct messages that I have to reply to every single day. Look at all these message requests right here. Yeah. I'm sorry yeah, guys, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's too much bro, yeah, it's too absolutely. much. So, and then on top of that, all these chats, which fucking oh. go insane all day, bro. But I like it, you know, I, I, I feel like it almost humbles me to realize that, you know, there's other people out there that need to learn the craft still. And if I have the opportunity and, you know, the time to be able to give back, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm here, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I'm fucking 23, I'm not 30. I don't, yeah. I'm not busy all day, you know? But it's like a balance, you know, there has to be a, a good balance in mm -hmm. I think too, it's like, it's definitely like, I see like, when I see things in the Discord and stuff like that, it's like, I, it's not that like, you know, people that like myself or like Ricky that understand and have maybe a further knowledge of, uh, and I don't even want to say experience because like, I've only been doing it for six months. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like, I haven't even been a full year in the, in the charts, mm -hmm. but like to like some of the questions, it's like, I have no problem to answer that for somebody and help somebody but some of them i'm just like oh man like like market structure yeah that's, like, that's bad, like, like that's come bad, on man like yeah, you know bad, or bad. like <laughs> nfp like google yeah, yeah, that yeah. google that <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah it is you know it is what it is yeah and look you, you can see right now these are my charts from last week so you can see yeah. everything everything that i say in the sunday swings are real i have not touched this chart since friday Literally, yeah, that yeah. chart has not been touched since Friday. So we're gonna do the Sunday swings together at nine o'clock. Yeah. And I'm not gonna touch it. It's the same watch list from last week. It's the same pairs, like the same lines. I haven't moved anything. Yeah, yeah. So everything I do on Sunday swings is live. It's raw. It's real. It's, like <laughs> it's legit. all there. It's, it's as legit as it yeah. gets. Um, but no, I'm 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 excited, bro. I'm excited for what we're gonna do right now. You ready to go out on the out on the ride? Yeah. Step for a rip, boy, the boy, the boy. Set and forget, baby. I had never traded before. Uh huh. I had never, uh, yeah, never bought anybody else's course. Um, I had a friend of mine that bought somebody else's course, and he's like, "It's dog shit." He's like, "I bought it," and he's like, "It's garbage." When I was buying Alex's course, I was uh -huh. like, "Oh man, like I hope this is like not just like, <laughs> oh thanks, like you know." I and the crazy thing is, I haven't even told him this, but like, I watched his course in a weekend. Oh, and you I've, binge watched it. Dude, and I've never watched the videos again. I have a desk downstairs with my computer set up and I've got like one piece of paper since like day one that I uh -huh. have like the plan written out and like... Like your own trading plan? Uh, yeah, and just like little jot notes from the strategy. Like okay. just to kind of refresh it. It's just like just drilling it further and further into my head so that it just becomes automatic. You canceled out a noise from every other strategy, every other trader. So you literally only listened to one person and that's what got you so far. Yeah, absolutely. And like I had, I've listened to other people that have talked about, well, you know, I'm gonna try and do this or I'm gonna try and use this or I'm gonna incorporate this. And I was just like, bro, I'm literally watching this guy on Sunday swings on his free telegram, whatever it might be. I'm literally watching this guy and his trades play out. He shares it on his Instagram. I'm like what is there for me not to believe i'm like it works i've taken the same trades i've seen them play out in my own with my own eyes why would i switch switch up strategy makes zero sense i was like this guy has shown a roadmap of how he took a hundred dollars to uh you know almost 400k yeah. right and we saw that and everything was there all the the data the roadmap the everything was there on youtube and i remember i sat down and rewatched that whole series and just re-verbalized in my head like how much he was risking you know just to get a, a feel of like okay 
how much do I have to risk on my account to be able to flip this? What makes sense for me to be able to do this? Because I believed it was possible. And I was like, you know what? I won the money out of the, the VLT and I was like, you know what? I did this off 20 bucks, so I'm gonna put this in my trading account. Let's see where it goes. Let's see what I can flip it to. And it just kind of took care of itself. It was never like, it wasn't like I was constantly like going at it. It was just the opportunities were there. So I just took them. I just took opportunities the market was giving me. Yeah, because that's the thing. Like you can't, you can't force the trades. You have to like yeah. hand select each trade because there was a time that Alex didn't take a trade for like a whole month. Yeah. Actually, what's crazy is the whole month that I was flipping my account, Alex never took a trade. Oh, yeah. That whole month, you never took a trade. And I was like, and that was the thing for me that was like, kind of just like reinsured for me. I was like, yo, I'm doing this. Like, I don't have, nobody's sending a signal. Nobody's like, hey, take the trade now. It's like, no, I'm like, just looking at my charts, looking at my markups. I'm just giving, taking the opportunities it gives me. So, yeah. Hold on, say it again. What did you just say? So I've got a uh, 2023 BMW 230i. Okay. And I was on my way to work one day and it was like early. I'm driving and I think I, I was in a trade. Okay. And I'm like looking over here while like took my last corner on my way to work. And I look over and like, I think I was close to TP. Uh-huh. And I fucking hit a moose. <laughs> moose comes out on the road. I fucking <laughs> slam on the brakes. I'm like, yo, drop my phone. And I look at my trade and hit DP. Like, no, no, you know, like. Wait, at the same time you yeah, hit a moose? Like, I hit a moose and I'm on my way. And it was like, right when, like, all, like, New York volume kicks in. Oh my God. And I was like, yo, <laughs> I hit this moose. Yeah. This moose, like, hits the driver's side corner and, like, went right over my hood. Good, good. Do it again, close it, close it, close it. Wow, what a copycatter, wow. <laughs> would you pay, would you pay like 300 bucks? No, I got a gift, I got a gift this to you for um, Christmas. Mother, fuck, fuck that guy, huh? <laughs> nah, that's lit. I, 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 when I saw it, I was like, yeah, this is the same one that Alex had. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but that that one actually looks way better than mine. Cause my my lips, like mine does not fit that comfortable. Mine's smaller. This one actually like it fits like good. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that one's gangster. Yeah, mine should just try. Surprisingly, uh, now we can both iron man it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start putting it when when I do my trading sessions. Fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see, brother. It'll go viral. Like mode. People will like it. People will like it. But um, you got in town yesterday? Yeah, bro. Right now with a student, we're doing like a little vlog and shit. Oh, dope, dope. What up? How you doing? Yeah, this guy's a demo trader. Huh? This guy's a demo trader. <laughs> <laughs> Start combat mode. <laughs> you hit a fucking moose, huh? Yeah. How does that like? What do you do after you hit a moose? You just say fuck. You go. Uh, you just think that he didn't come through the windshield. Oh shit. <laughs> and because when they go through the windshield, they start kicking. Oh shit. Like that's kind of the that, thing that they do. Is that, a, is that, how common is it to hit a moose? Uh, it happens more than you think. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Alberta, it happens more than you think. Yep. But what, the, what, what do you mean? Like, they just fucking jump on the cars and shit? They like come out across the road, like out of the bush, especially like in small, like rural areas. And you don't, areas. Have, you don't have time to fucking react? Not really. No. Like, all of a sudden, you just like, I look over here and he comes out of the bush on the left hand side and it's like dark out and all of a sudden I'm like mother fuck and I'm slamming on the brakes. Oh, and then what do you do after? Uh yeah, like the car was okay, I could still drive. Really like realistically if you saw my car, you'd be like, there's no way you hit him loose. Like that's a big animal. Uh -huh. And like everybody's like, there's no way you hit him loose. Like, yeah, I, you just hit him loose. I know what I like and, but like I got so lucky. But then what happened to the moose? Did they just ride out or just it like stayed? went across the hood, went off into the ditch, and hobbled off and Oh, so it was it was good. Yeah, it just fucked up. Oh. And I was like, oh. I would have shot that shit if I was you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that shit hits my car. I'll be hella mad. <laughs> yeah. Cause then like the moose's insurance is not gonna pay for that shit. Uh 
so in my insurance, I have coverage. You have moose. You have moose coverage. <laughs> like for like animals. Yeah. Like if you hit a deer, you hit moose. Like cause it's oh, so, so is that common? It's so common in Alberta. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. What's that like? Hey, stay from me. I, yeah. It happened again. I hit a fucking moose again. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Is that your first time hitting a moose? Yeah. Absolutely. Have any of your family members or friends hit a moose? Uh, I know other people who have hit mooses. Yeah, and have been less lucky where the cars just destroyed. Oh shit! Airbags go up full nine yards. <laughs> yeah, over here we we um, what do we get here? We get like alligators. Yeah, we get, but no alligators. <laughs> <Very questionable. laughs> we have very questionable drivers. Yeah, we have very questionable drivers, but you know, like that that would definitely get in front of you. So that was obviously like a little day in the life, kind of like a little vlog. We're going Mike. All the way from Alberta. So how, how was it today, bro? It was amazing, bro. Yeah. I appreciate you so much. Uh, it was fantastic. Give me a little taste of of the uh, successful trader lifestyle, and you know, make me want to work harder to, you know, achieve more and continue to push for more. And uh, shows what's possible and what's you know available to you if you open your mind and just set and forget. Yeah. Whatever he says, I say yes to because I don't want to help to come out of the way, you know. <laughs> So we're gonna run up the podcast right now. He's gonna go get you gonna over the shirt. Yeah. We're gonna run up the podcast. I got my stuff. Yeah, go get it. it yeah. No, yeah. I got it here. It's, oh, in, you got it's it in my bag. Yeah, we're good. Oh, we're going straight for the fucking podcast right now, boys. So click the link below so you guys can see his full story. How he took fifteen hundred bucks to one hundred twenty k, where you found twenty bucks, turned it to fifteen hundred, and then you scaled it. Let's check it. Check it. Link in the bio.